Hi, my name's Craig Turnka, and we're in Pilot Point, Texas, home of Chad and Susie Chance and Hoofwatch. And we're teamed up to give you another video today for the series of Edgewood, which our judge will be Sam Gooding. Sam made a two-man class at, at Edgewood that has a pair of tongs and a plain stamp shoe. We supply you two pieces of three-quarter by half, an inch and a quarter ring, and a three-eighths inch rivet. The criteria of the tongs is they're approximately 13 inches long and they, they need to hold your shoe. So you're going to make a plain stamp shoe and they're going to lock in and hold those. And you want to be able to lock them in to where they, they lock and they hold the shoe without being held by your hand. And for the, the Pritchell side of the tongs, they're going to be carrying tongs. So that hot fitting tongs are carrying tongs. This side is going to be marked at three quarters of an inch because we need a little bit more mass to go around the edge of the shoe. For the Pritchell side, we're going to go a half an inch and that's going to go into the nail hole. So the, the half inch of stock set down goes into the nail hole. The three quarter inch piece of stock, that goes around the edge and holds on to the edge of the shoe. The first move would take, and I hold it on my scribe score mark right there, and I'm going to set it down. Then I'm gonna come and hit it down flat. You can see I've already got enough material for my boss. Then we'll come in with the, with the, the hand, sledgehammer and make the other side of the boss. Now I'm gonna do the half inch side. Set it down. Create that shoulder. Come here. Make sure you don't go too far over the edge and set down that shoulder. This and that collar, so boom. We take, just be on the high side of the horn, there you go. Now we come in here and flatten it up. Then we come in and we're making this round the whole time. All right, so. Just gonna get rid of some of that material. Come up here and just push this back a little bit and push this in. We're making a round circle for that rivet. That's our boss. And now we'll start to work on this side of the rein and then we can flip them over and work on the other rein. We're gonna draw out the rein now. Stay on the top of the horn. We've got some of the material knocked out of here, but we need to, we're gonna run it up to the shoulder and get the offset in the tong in the head. All right, then what I'll do is come up here, just get this pushed down a little bit, and I'm just gonna get, this is getting a little bit of whip in there, you can see it flings it this way and then flatten that up. Now I've got the jaw on the other side of the back line. All right, straight up and down. All right, I got it, I got it. All I'm doing right there is getting the jaw on the other side of the rein. This is the back side. That's, uh, that's going to be the center line of the whole tool. I'm just moving that jaw that direction. When you come in here, 
I'm pushing that end down, which is lifting up the jaw. Then I can come in here, pack that in, drop that down, and get it in line. Now we'll just draw out the reins. Alright, this rein is going to have a ramp to it to hold to lock in so that ring will lock in. So we're just going to easy. If you put it on the diagonal, you always can true it up. Just kind of diagonally hitting it and that, that trues it up, kind of takes some of the, the smacks out of it and then we'll hit it with the flatter now. This is the short end, this is the Pritchell end. This is the end we're just gonna knock out a little bit of material and put the hook on the end. Just gonna put a slip so that ring will fit over the end of the rein and then we'll just kinda go up to it and flatten that up to where it kinda makes a scoop. All right, we're just gonna draw out, take about half the material and then come on with it. I got it. I'm gonna just work on, go back to my heads. Now I have something that I can use as a reference. I have my reins as a reference, and I can just go back to the other end and put and, and finish those up. And now I can make them just like a regular pair of tongs. gotten that head on the other side of the rain. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line up to where the rivet dissects the jaw. So I'm going to punch my eye in the center and then I'll clean up the boss to go around my hole. Just a little off. We're going to offset it right on a soft shoulder, and that allows the boss to get moved over to where the reins and the heads line up with each other and your bosses kind of go around each other and that's going to be the offset right there. When we're doing the eye, we're going to have the jaw hanging over the edge of the anvil. And then that way, the jaw can be up when we do the other side. Hold on, let me just... We get a nice clean hole, and I don't mess up the jaw. And then I can just kind of clean everything up. So we're going to hold it up here. We got a nice, sharp, tight corner and just e ever so slightly just flatten it up. There we go. Offset it. Perfect. Gets us some offset in there. Then ever so slightly get this side right here. 
Perfect. And then I'll go to cleaning up the edges and stuff. All this has got to be cleaned up in a nice soft line so that they don't hang up right here. Take your file side and clean up all this. The smoother these surfaces are, the more they'll articulate nice and free. All right, we've rasped, we've cleaned up around the boss, we've cleaned up to the edge of the jaws, and we've cleaned out this area right here. This is where, when you fold the tongs over, this area is where they're gonna bind. Now we'll lay them together. I'll draw out the, the Pritchell side and the holder side so it'll hold a shoe. We'll rivet them together and see how they work. I'm just gonna draw out the tip now, keeping it as square as possible. On the soft edge right here, just a couple hits. Gives a nice place for the edge of the shoe to lock in. The Pritchell side, we're gonna just draw it out. going to go into the nail hole. This is going to catch the lower lip of the shoe. That's why you started with a three quarter inch set down on this side and a half inch set down on this side. What we're going to do is we're going to score one of the holes so that uh, it locks because that way you only want one locking side. And we've scored it. Now it'll sit in there and lock. That's just a star bit I welded a little handle on, but you can use anything. You can use the edge of a creaser. On a soft corner, we'll just... Just put your ring on there. And now we've got our adjusting ring, and then we'll, we'll rivet them together. What we're gonna do is we've got this side scored. This side, we're just gonna stick it in the fire to where this rivet gets hot, and then I'll bring it in, I'll put them together like this, and then I'll flip it over and brad them. Got it in there. And now the round side of my hammer, And then just kind of paint it all the way around. Make... Before we try to move them, we're gonna get some heat on them. I'm gonna take a Pritchell, put it in right here, and then I'm just gonna tighten up my reins a little bit, flip it over, and this is just gonna make them clear just a little bit, and then that way, you can see they come together, my ring comes together, now I can adjust the heads. Everything lines up. got the tongs. You can see my edge, so I'm going to rasp that so it doesn't hang over so much and I'll be about done with fitting them. Then I got their mild steel. I got it. They lock in and they're tight.
just polishing them up to get them ready to be turned in. Just making, just got all the, the rash marks out. Then what we do is we just kind of fine tune it to make sure that it holds the shoe. Now we're done with them, ready to go fit some shoes.